Greetings travelers, welcome back to the channel. In today's Valheim video, I am going to show you guys how to get your hands on Draugrfang. This is probably the best, if not the coolest weapon in the game. As of we speak right now, you see a great deal of players walking and hunting around with these, which is very awesome because of course this weapon looks so cool. And it's actually very easy to get your hands on quite early in the game. You don't have to do any funky stuff for it. So guys, let's get right to it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need when you're hunting for those dragon fang materials are these ancient trees. They actually grow over the entire place, so they are really hard to miss. But uh, let's first deal with these blobs. All right, so here we go, an ancient tree. Definitely make sure, guys, to bring a decent axe in order to chop these bad boys down. Also, the wood is quite heavy, so make sure to have enough inventory space and also bring enough of these logs because I think it takes about 10 to craft it and then at least 10, then 20, then 30 for all the other tiers in order to upgrade it. The bark looks exactly like this. Pretty epic planks, if you ask me. You can also craft some other pretty cool weapons with these. Next up, we're gonna need to search for greenish oozes. You might have already encountered them and wondered what the hell are these. You wanna make something with them, and yes, you can do that. So they are right there, guys. Sometimes they can be a little bit tucked away in the level, but really, uh, you will be able to find plenty of these trees in every single uh, swamp biome. And in order to harvest them, of course you won't be able to chop down the tree so this is going to make it quite annoying but uh, for that instead you're going to make a little crafting table and i think this is a pretty easy tactic i use it for many different things in the game you're just going to put down your stairs and you will be able to climb to the very top of this little thing i'm going to put the third one right there and there we go right now we should be able to use either our pickaxe or an axe, so look at this. You can deal 14 damage with an iron pickaxe. This is a, a black um, metal um, axe, and uh, we will be able to crush it, and it will give us four gugs. In total, you're also gonna need 10 of these, so definitely make sure to harvest the entire tree because you're gonna need even more of them for upgrading. Another interesting tactic is to make some stairs. So you can make them exactly like so. So uh, then you will be able to jump from one platform to the other in order to jump higher onto the tree. So right now we're just gonna jump and get to the fourth and of course make one that is very easy to position ourselves around the gug sack. And now we can just use the ax to chop it down. We also instantly harvest them, which is very awesome. Right now I'm gonna Go to the other gug sack right here and smash it down and bam, there we go. But now we can break every single platform because guys, seriously, think about the environment. All right, I think we're done here. Right now we can travel to the mountains and get our hands on some silver. Oh wow, look at that. We have found a dungeon which wasn't explored yet, so uh, that is very nice for the future. Anyways, if you're looking for silver, guys, you're also gonna use your tool, which you use in order to get your hands on iron. Just wait for the bleeps to get higher pitch and become very frequent, and then you just dig down. Look at that. We just found a muddy scrap pile. This is exactly the same tactic which you're gonna use in order to get your hands on silver. By the way, guys, if you haven't cleared Bowmas yet, definitely make sure to check out my guide for it. It's in the top right of the screen. This one will allow you to take him down very easily, solo pretty much with a pretty cheesy tactic. So um, make sure to do that if you are new to this game. Anyways, let's get back to base, guys, and craft our Draugr Fang. Home sweet home. Or well, it's just a work in progress still because I haven't done much. This is my little shack with all the materials I need for my main house, let's say. I currently only completed my workshop, which looks exactly like this. I even sleep on the ground. How sad is that? Anyways, guys, in order to craft Dragar Fan, you're gonna use the forge, not the regular workbench. Let's also repair our items very quickly. And right now we're just gonna scroll down. And also for this one, you're gonna need to get your hands on some silver, like I already said, 20 silver and two deer heights and then in total you're gonna need 10 gugs i already have mine to i think like tier three so uh, if i want to upgrade it to the final level i'm gonna need 30 silver 15 ancient barks six deer height and also six gug so guys i wish you good luck hunting for these parts i think the ancient barks are very easy to get your hands on silver is just a pain because you won't be able to travel through portals with this one deer heights are easy by now and gugs well yeah you just have to farm those trees with the little stair steps 
All right, so guys, that is pretty much everything you need to know in order to craft Draugr Fang pretty early in the game. If you enjoyed watching this video, definitely make sure to hit that like button. It definitely helps me out a lot. And of course, also other people who are looking for a guide like this one. Anyways, if you are new to the channel, it would be very awesome to have you aboard as well um, to subscribe to the channel because so much more Valheim is coming your way. Of course, I will show you my build when it's finished, but many more great things are coming your way as well. We're going to launch a community server this week, so it's going to be very awesome to have you aboard right there. But um, right now, it is 4 am out. Time to work on another project. I'll see you guys very soon. Take care.